Hello and welcome to Knit All the Yarn Podcast. My name is Lisa and I live in Michigan with my husband and my two kiddos. You can find me on Instagram at Ravelry at 72 Stitches. And, oops, crinkle. Um, this is episode 189. Yes, 189. Got my coffee in my Crazy Sock Lady mug. Pumpkin Spice Creamer. This is my YouTube channel where I share my knitting, crocheting, cross stitch, whatever crafty thing I'm up to. How are y'all doing? You doing good? That's good. Um, I have no idea how long this is going to be. So we will just go with the flow. So I hope you have knitting or crocheting with you today or folding laundry. I feel I feel rusty this morning. <laughs> Today is Friday, January 27th, 2023. Right? Yep, the 27th. This is the last episode of January. So next week I will share my um grams down information, stats, stats. My grams down stats. That's kind of hard to say. I still have a few more days, like four days, four days, 27, 28, 29, 30, is there 31 days in January? Four or five days. <laughs> I think I can finish one more thing. We will see. Um, I have one finished object and four whips. Yep, four whips. I will have all of the links down below to everything I talk about today, um, bags, yarns, patterns, all that good stuff. I also have my Procrastinating shirt on from Nitty Natty. I will also link um, her spread shirt shop below. She still has the um, definition collection in her shop. So go check that out. I was able to purchase a mug. It's not yarn, it's not yarn. Um, a friend on Instagram, we chat every once in a while. And I mentioned last on my last episode that I need a mug that says Scrappy Knitting Queen on it. And I had no idea where to find such thing. Well, she directed me to Spreadshirt. And I figured it out. So I and I bought it yesterday. So I have a mug coming. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if this is like breaking the rules or not, but um, I went to Nitty Natty's Spreadshirt shop. Found the definition collection with uh, the black mug. I took the definition off and I put the Scrappy Knitting Queen on both sides. So when I drink, you guys can see it and I can see it when I drink. <laughs> I don't know if that's breaking the rules. She'll still get the commission. It's not a big deal. Um, yeah, so that's what I did. So if you want to do that, I forgot that with Spreadshirt, you can add text to, to things. Which is silly because I did that with the Crazy Sock Lady mug like a couple years ago. It's fine. Okay, I will also have reading and watching down there. All that good stuff. Where you can find me. Yeah, all that jazz. Alright, I'll take another sip of coffee here and I think that's everything. I think we can get started. All right, my one and only finish object. Oh, the lighting is like perfect today. The sun came out right before I started record, but I still have my light, my light on just in case this, um, it decides to say never mind. But oh yeah, the sun's out. That is a rare thing in Michigan here in the winter. <laughs> so this is Patton's Croy Northern Lights. My heels and toes are in Patton's Croy Gentry Gray. Gentry, I don't know if that's how you say it. But it's like, it's really, really dark gray. It's like almost black. And these are for my mom for Christmas. I'm getting started early on her Christmas presents. I like to get started early. I'm weird like that. Because December is Advent knitting time. It's not gift knitting time for me. <laughs> 
So I did 64 stitches, 12 rows of two by two rib. This pattern's quarry yarn is thick. Man. So they look kind of big on my blockers. I mean, I feel like this is probably really close to sport weight, but it says uh, fingering weight on it. Um, they don't match. They don't match. They're off by a couple stripes. That's okay. My mom doesn't care. So, yep. Um, I use a US 1.5. Yes. US 1.5, 2.5 millimeter needle. Yeah. Done. And these were 95 grams. I gotta start using more Patton's Croy because that is heavy. I'm like 95 grams. I still had a, a little bit extra. I don't, I put, I put my balls away. <laughs> um, but I, since I did contrasting heels and toes, I did have, I don't know, maybe 10 grams left. Maybe seven, somewhere around there. I didn't weigh them. Um, I will use them. I have a whole bag of scrappy or just scraps from Patton's Croy. I like to make scrappy socks with Patton's Cray. I like to make scrappy socks with everything, but I like to keep my Patton's Cray separate because it is a lot thicker than other yarns. So, yep, that's it. Done. I have no idea where I was last week. I know I, was, I had just one sock. I don't know if I was like here or if I was at the heel. I don't remember done. And that is my only finished object this week. That's okay. All right, now we have a new cast on. I could tell my sock mojo is back because as I was like, I was on the second sock or even like, I was probably like here on the first sock. I'm like, whoa, what am I going to cast on next? That's how I know my sock mojo's back, is if I'm thinking about my new, my next sock cast on before I finished the one I'm currently working on, I'm like, all right, I'm back. <laughs> all right, this is a bag that my friend Amy made for me. Happy little yarn. <clears throat> I like to use this bag when I make her socks. So these are for her. She sent me a bunch of yarn. You've seen it. I showed it a, a few weeks ago. And so I am starting to work through it. So we have Freckled Whimsy. This is the Spells and Things Club. Yep, Harry Potter. It says year three on it. This was the November 2022 color. And it's called Dumbledore Socks. I feel like, I mean, I, I love this yarn, don't get me wrong, and I love the name, but I feel like Dumbledore's would be, like, brighter. It's fine. I still love it. It came with a mini. I don't know if I'm going to do heels and toes for her with this, or just heels. I don't know yet. There's enough. I, uh, she sent me a skein or some skeins and we're, I'm dividing it in half or half-ish, making a pair of shorties for her and a shorties for me. So I have all the colors, so I don't have to show you the, actually, I'll show you the back. I don't have to show you the skein. So yeah, they're very dark, like muted colors. I still love it. So for her socks, I do 15 rows of two by two rib. Um, I'm putting her heel at row, I think, 12 or 13 this time. Decided to do, I like to do it right in between a stripe. And since this brown is the same brown as that, I decided to just do that. So I'm definitely going to do heels in this color, but I don't know about toes. And I might try to get them to match. There is plenty of yarn 
for her socks and my socks. My socks, I, if I do toes and heels for her, I'll probably just do heels for my socks. Because it takes... Maybe I'll just do heels. It takes 8 grams for heels for me. And I think 4 grams for toes. So, I'll have to think about it. I'll have to do some math. I mean, I could do all stripes for mine. It doesn't matter. So we will see. At least the heels. Toes, I'm not sure yet. I guess we'll wait and see where I land on my toe. Um, so these markers are counting my rows. So I get the second sock to match in the in length anyways. Chagu Red Lace, 32 inch cord, 2.5 millimeter needle, which is a US 1.5. 64 stitches. Magic loop. I already said that. Cuff down. This is how I knit my socks. And here's the cake, if you care to see. I'm pulling from the outside. To fall. Alright, that is a whip number one. And since these are shorties, these are the ones I feel like I can get done before. When's the first? First of February. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? Wednesday. I feel like I can have these done by Wednesday. We will see. I hope so because I really need to, I need some extra grams for this month. Yeah, I, we'll talk about that more in a little bit. But yeah, some more yarn came in. <laughs> it's okay. It's free yarn. It's okay. All right, whip number two, work in progress. Number two, another happy little yarn bag. And this is my Star Wars cowl. If you've been with me a while, I don't know. Are you guys sick of seeing this? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I feel, I'm starting to feel like robot here on this, uh, on my episodes because I'm showing the same whips. Yeah, the same, the same three whips every week, it seems like. But I am getting progress done. Okay. So this is my Star Wars cowl. So this is all mustache yarn. Um, last year in May, I bought a um, mini skein set of all of her Star Wars colorways. She does not do it very often. But I was, I was lucky enough to snag one. Oh, look at this. As you can see, I am really close to being done. I did um, provisional cast on of 100 stitches. I am using a US 2.5, which is a three millimeter. Um, 100 stitches, did I say that? I don't know if I said provisional cast on or 100 stitches, or if I said both. I'm saying it again. <laughs> Um, these are Chagu's 16 inch needle and I'm just knitting around because I was there oh jeez last week so I finished this one is R2D2 and that is Chewbacca Yeti from Simply Serving oh he's so cute so I have two minis left I have two minis left and that's it. And this thing is done. Um, so this is gonna be my next one. This is BB-8. And I think this one is Ray. I don't know what. She changed her names for her color base, but this one's Ray. Hope for something galaxy. Let's see. Hope of a Galaxy. See that? And BB-8 is called B-Droid. This is really hard to show. <laughs> B-Droid number eight. I'm assuming. 
because there's all there's droid there's our droid number two and i'm assuming that's r2d2 and then there's c droid number three i'm assuming that's c3po and then there's b b droid that i just showed you i can't find it now b droid number eight i'm assuming that's bb8 that's how i figured it out i don't know if that's true or not so yeah, I have two more minis left. Oh. So I'm gonna do this one next. So I have two more weeks and this thing will be done. Oh, oh it smells good too. Mm. Gotta love the smell of yarn. So yeah, this is my cowl. I love it. I am loosely basting it off of the litmus cowl. I don't know what needle he used now the pattern is by <clears throat> by jude of stranded dye works but in ravelry um he hasn't changed the his name in ravelry well i mean for the pattern anyway it still says amy green on it so i don't know if i used the same needle that he did but i kind of went off of that so that is that this thing's huge. And I'm gonna kitchener the ends together. I don't know if I said that. That's not gonna be fun. I'm not looking forward to that. Cause it seems like every time I try to kitchener something together like a tube, my stitches get twisted. And then I have to like untwist it before I kitchener it. It just takes a long time. Obviously, I don't know how to pick up my provisional cast on correctly. <clears throat> I have tried many times and it, it's always twisted. I've tried picking up from the inside I've tried picking up from the outside. I've tried going, you know, counterclockwise, you know, clockwise where I start and it's always twisted. So obviously I'm not doing something right. Maybe I'll uh, ask Dr. Google and maybe he will give me a link to a YouTube how to pick up a provisional cast on in the round correctly without twisting your stitches. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Oh, now my throat's all crackly. Okay, whip number three. This is a Knit Picks bag. You can kind of see it right there. Knit Picks. I got my, my shawl back out, guys. This is the Aurora Cabin Shawl by Stephen West. This is the Hyper Knit Along Shawl. I am on section six. I am so close to finishing. I'm like this close. I have four more rows left. <laughs> I just couldn't do it because these rows, oh my word, you guys, these are like 500 and it's over 500 stitches. <clears throat> I think section six is supposed to end with 527 stitches. And I was thinking, man, this shawl is getting, this shawl is small. So I decided, I'm like, I'm going to put, after section six, I was going to um, change cords out. And I was going to just get a longer cord. And then I'm like, Lisa, you have an interchangeable set. You have the extenders. Just add a cord to it. You won't have to knit a whole separate cord through there. <laughs> so I did that. So I added a cord so you can see how big this thing is. It is long. All right, I'm gonna try not to dump my coffee and or knock my light over. Oh, look at it, it's beautiful. So it is kind of shallow, but um, I'm not done yet and it has not been blocked. So it is like pretty much my wingspan right now tip to tip and I'm not done yet so I think it's it's all okay. great it just looks small when it was on the um the smaller cord so here's the back if you're curious oh, beautiful. oh I really love this section now I don't like knitting with black yarn <laughs> but I've, I've only been doing this during the day once it gets nighttime it's like nope I'm done because 
I I don't like this section. I think this is worse than this <laughs> because there's rows where you have to knit one, purl one, all the way across. And yes, one of those rows is the black. I have to knit and purl all the way across. Now it looks fabulous, <laughs> but oh my word. Yeah, look at that. So I decided to do another rainbow. So yeah, I wish this section and this was like switched. Or I probably should have done white background in here instead of black, but I wanted something different. Here it is. So this is my scrappy version, obviously. Um, the pattern calls for five, five colors. I'm just winging it. When I get to a new section, I'm like, okay, let's, let's do this. And since I did a rainbow up here, I'm like, let's do another rainbow. And I think the border, the chevron border, I think I'm gonna do a rainbow. I'm not looking forward to that border. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So I was there last week. So yeah, I almost made it, but that's okay. Yep, I got the purple to go and then two more rows of black. And then we move on to it, the last uh, slip stitch pattern. I have to think about what colors I'm going to use. I'm not sure. I think it needs more pucker, which is this bright neon pink. So I have my light gray and dark gray as A and B. I tried to keep that uh, throughout the whole thing, except for the rainbow sections. So we have light gray, dark gray, pucker. So I need two more colors. Feels like it needs more purple maybe hot pink and purple and two grays. I don't know, I'll have to look through my stash. Maybe some white. Well, I don't know, did I do white down here? No, I didn't. I don't know, so I'm gonna have to play with my colors. I need some more orange too. Maybe I'll do orange. I don't know, is orange pucker and purple a bit much? I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> so yep. Here is my shawl. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, I cannot. I kind of want to be done with this. I don't. I worked on it all day yesterday. I think I finished. I think I was at this light green color. So I did three colors yesterday. Ugh. I don't know if I'm going to work on it today. I don't know. Maybe I would like to finish that section today, but we'll see. What time allows. I'm using a US 4, which is what is recommended. Yep, 3.5 millimeter. All fingering weight, scraps, nitpick stroll. If I didn't say that already. So yeah, this is all, this is all, yeah, this is full of stroll. This is all of my stroll, except there. <laughs> I got lots of gray. <laughs> Oh wait, I think that's it for that. I'm hoping I can finish that next month, but I don't know. The border, the border's gonna take forever. Why did I decide to make this shawl? I'm having my, I'm having regrets. <laughs> because the end of it is gonna be like a thousand stitches. That's right, I said a thousand, I said a thousand. <laughs> okay, I can do it. All right, my last whip is my Cozy Memories blanket. Oh, I love it. So I finished seven squares. And I finished a row. So I'm at 100 and 103 squares. I My goal is for 500, so I have a ways to go. <laughs> so I did these four. And this stitch marker is Twin Mountain Handcrafts. Oh, so I did those four. I think this one is a Night Owl Fibers one. And this one's a Legacy Fiber Arts. 
The other ones might be row one minis. I don't know. So I did those four. And then these three, starting new rows, is also Twin Mountain Handcrafts. This one is marking how many squares I did. I was here on January 1st. So I'm trying to keep track of how many squares I do. So. I might do more in January because... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do three squares today and four squares on Sunday so I can get my seven in for the week. It doesn't matter. This one is Desert Vista Dye Works. I think it's National Emo Day, something like that. And I have no idea what this one is. And I don't know what this one is either. <laughs> So yeah, this is The Coziest Memories by Kemper Ray. I am weaving my ends in as I go. Here is the back. I got some ends. I snipped them, but they still poke through. That's okay. Um, and I do 20 by 20 stitches, 40 stitches total. That's a free pattern, so you can go check it out. I use a US, let's see, did I write it down? Yep, US 2, 2.75 millimeter needle. I use uh, signature straights. I believe I have the seven inch ones and they're the midi because I uh, use my finger to, to move the needle and ouchie, we do not want uh, the stiletto tips with my fingers. I would not be able to knit anymore and it would make me sad. <laughs> I don't know if that's a bad habit or if it doesn't mean anything. I mean, I don't know. That's what I do. All right, that is all of my whips. Now we're going to talk about um, do we talk about reading and watching? Reading and watching? Reading and watching. I do have some stash and it is something that I don't know if everybody has yet. So maybe I'll save that to the end. I'll do that. Okay. Let's go reading and watching. Oh, we I finished a lot of stuff this week. I watched a lot of TV. It's okay. Um, what day was it? Saturday? Yes. Saturday, my husband took the kids to his parents' house and I stayed home because I needed a day to myself. And it was glorious. So I knit all day and watched TV all day. <laughs> and then yesterday, my husband had to go to work. I had to go to the office. So I had about like six hours to myself. Not all day, but I'll take it. It was nice. It was kind of strange. It kind of takes me, you know, it brings me back to like pre-COVID days when my husband actually went to work every day. And my kids went to school and it just felt like eerie kind of. It's like I'm home by myself during the week. <laughs> so while I was by myself yesterday, I started and finished <laughs> that 90s show on Netflix. Okay, so if you liked that 70s show, I love that show. It's so good. So I wasn't like going into this like thinking, okay, this is going to be the best thing ever. This is probably going to be silly. Because usually when they do remakes or reboots, it's like, why did you do this? You didn't have to do this. But I was presently surprised. I didn't think it was that bad. Um, they had... Um, most of the characters were back. Um... Yes, it was just, it gave me all the nostalgia feels in my heart. <laughs> so if you liked that 70s show, I would check it out. It's only 10 episodes and they're about like 20 minutes, 24 minutes long. So they're not that long. I have no idea if there's going to be another season. Um, it feels like it started and ended. It feels like they don't need to have another season. 
they didn't have like a cliffhanger or anything. So yeah, it'll be interesting if they bring it back. I thought it was cute. I also finished Better Call Saul season five. Now for this one, I loved it. And I'm like, okay, this is the last season because Netflix only has five seasons. I thought that was all of them and it ended. And I'm like, this seems like it doesn't end. This is weird. Um, so I got on Google and I looked it up and there is a season six. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, that makes sense. I have no idea when Netflix is gonna have it. Uh, it looked like it ended in August on TV it aired so I'm hoping maybe by the summertime or fall September next year this year they'll have the the next season now I'm mad because I have to wait <laughs> I thought because I knew the show was done so I assumed that Netflix had them all wrong anyway I did enjoy it so I have one more season of that my husband and I finished Archer Season 12 last night. Oh, that one was sad because it was the last... What's her name? I think it's Jessica Walter. Is that her name? Archer's mom, the character. The actress passed away. So I was going to be... I'm going to be sad that she's not on there anymore. I, I loved her character. <laughs> I knew that she passed away before we watched this. So now it was like... I was just waiting for the season. I'm like, all right, I know it's coming. And yep, so season 12 is the last season with uh, Archer's mom in it, I'm assuming. I don't think they'll bring her back. Um, because I know since it's animated, you could like take words from other recordings and splice them together, but I don't think they're gonna do that. So it ended with her retiring and that's that, so we're probably not, um, they're not gonna talk about her anymore. Dear. And what else? We're watching, my husband and I are watching Future Man season two. So that's it for reading and watching. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna start next. I don't know yet. Um, I think my husband is gonna cancel Hulu here pretty soon. I don't know about this week or next week, so I'm, don't really want to start anything on Hulu because I don't think I'll be able to finish it. So I have, I want to watch Wednesday on Netflix. We're keeping Netflix, so I think I might watch that. And then my husband mentioned, there's a show that I want to watch, um, Inside Man. It has David Tennant in it. I think it's Inside Man on Netflix. I wanted to watch that and... He's like, oh, I might want to watch that too. And I'm like, it's like a crime drama. You don't like that. He's like, but I like David Tennant. <laughs> so we might watch that. Cancel Hulu. Then watch that. I don't know what order. That's only four episodes, so it's pretty short. And then we'll be getting Disney Plus. So I have to look through their catalog to see if there's, I don't know, for some odd reason, for Disney Plus, all I'm thinking about is like movies. And I feel like there isn't any TV shows, which I'm sure is incorrect. I know my husband wants to watch all of the Star Wars, Mandalorian. I, I feel like there's more um, Star Wars TV shows. We're probably going to watch those. So I have to find something to watch on my own. Maybe I'll just watch Disney cartoons. I'm not a, like a huge... I like TV shows more than movies. Um, that's just my jam. I like TV shows. So, yeah. I'll have to look and see what kind of TV shows Disney Plus has. Alright, that's it for watching. <laughs> Reading. I finished The Cruel Prince by Holly... Black. It was okay. It, it was definitely a young adult book. Not my favorite, but it was okay. I am reading Spare by Prince Harry. I have, I have opinions and thoughts, but I'm not going to go into it too much. Um, 
but I am listening to that on Audible, and I love his voice. So that's all I care about. Um, I'm getting like, I understand that he, he probably had a very rough, rough life with his mother passing away when he was young. And it's horrible, but I'm getting like, woe is me vibes. And I'm like, so I'm having like, I don't want to be a jerk saying, you know, suck it up. What's your problem? You have lots of money. <laughs> and you probably got billions, maybe not billions, millions from this book deal. So I have, I have uh, conflicting thoughts, but I am, I am enjoying it. Um, like I said, I love a British accent, so I'm here for it. <laughs> and I also started reading again before I go to bed. I've been doing pretty good. I think there was one day, one night this week that I'm like, I'm too tired. I'm just going to bed. <laughs> so I'm reading on my Kindle, A Boy and His Dog at the End of the World by C.A. Fletcher. If I'm pronouncing any of these incorrectly, I will have the links, or not links, I will have the titles and author names down below so you can copy and paste it, Google it, because I am not good with last names. I butcher them. <laughs> so that one is, is kind of sad. You know, it, it's a dystopian apocalypse. This boy is the narrator and somebody stole his dog. I'm like, the world's ending. And you just steal some boy's dog? It's sad. <laughs> so he is trying to find his dog. I don't know. I hope it has a happy ending. <laughs> but I am enjoying it. I've tried to read at least one chapter before I go to sleep. So it might take a while. I probably should start reading it a little bit. Reading more than one chapter. Because I won't finish it. I did check it out at the library. So we'll see. If I can finish it before I have to return it. So that is, that is it for reading and watching. So now I'm going to do, actually I'm going to show you what my Desert Vista Dye Works socks for February are going to be first before I show you my stash. So don't leave yet. I mean, I guess if you don't want to see any of my stash, I'll see you next week. <laughs> so since it's February, I decided to pick a pink one. I mean, it's not Valentine's Day. It's Zom Piglet, but it's the only one that's like pinky. So I'm going to do this for February. Um, Desert Vista Dye Works does a monthly sock club, a year long, knit along sock club where you knit a pair of socks in her yarn, in her yarn, one pair a month. And and you earn coupons and free yarn. If you, you know, do, I think if you do it for three months straight, you get a coupon code. If you do six months, you get a free skein of yarn. The next three months, you get another coupon code. And then the, if you do all 12 months, you get a exclusive skein, which is what I'm going to show here in a minute. And some other goodies, because I did do the Instagram uh, Cal part. But yeah, so I'm going to wind this up sometime this weekend. Maybe today. I have no idea. Before Wednesday. I believe the first is Wednesday. I can't believe it's almost February already. You know, January, January and February seem like the months where it's like they just drag on forever. But not this year. <laughs> All right, I need to stretch. My feet are falling asleep. Coffee. So my ex exclusive Desert Vista Dye Works skein came Monday, I think. I think it was Monday, sometime this week. So I am going to show that. So if you have not seen it, please shut this off. I'm not going to talk about I guess if you want to, I'm going to talk about life stuff in a minute, if you care. I mean, I don't have much, but so if you don't want to see this, look away, fast forward. I'm going to show it. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. I'm going to show it. I am 44 of 84. 
So I guess there was 84 people that finished 12 pairs of socks in 2022. I feel like it was more last year. Was it 96 last year? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to show it. Look away if you don't want to see it. I don't want to talk about it too much. So if you're just closing your eyes, there's the base. I won't say what it is. And there's the name. So yeah, I have not, I haven't worked with this before. So I'm excited. And I don't know if you can see that. <gasps> excited. So yep. There was the free skein. It'll be interesting. Okay, it's down now. You can open your eyes. I will show the little goody bits that came with it. I don't know. Um, for Instagram, if you post, I don't know, I think I did 80 some posts throughout the year. I need to get better. I think if you do 100, you get a free skein. I did like 80 some. So close, but that's okay. Um, so I got minis. I don't know if you get, if you do 100 posts, if you get minis and a free skein. I don't know. But I got, I got a ton of minis. So I think like, there's like, must be like a set of, like if you're at 20 posts, you only get this much. If, and if you post more, obviously you get more, I'm assuming, but. So I did 80 posts, 81 or something. So I will show you what I got. So I don't know if it's different for you, but I got a pin. Well, the coyote has socks on. Uh, sticker. I don't know if she's changing her logo or just doing something different. Oh, I like that. I got a needle. Darning needle. Scissors. Scissors. Measuring tape. And I really love this. I guess a little progress keeper, stitch marker. I don't know if you can see. It's a little wolf. Look at that. And it's got one of these claspy doos. Earring. I, I mentioned on um, the last episode that I like these style better than the lobster claps clasps but I I was able to get on Amazon and I did find them I won't have to change this one I might just leave it but yeah I might use that for my desert vista dye work socks cute so yep that was all the little extra goodies and then here is the minis that was what I was crunching on earlier Self striping minis. There's some sparkle ones in there. Looks like I got a duplicate. That's okay. I have no idea what colors these are. But it's okay. uh, I'll probably put these. I think these are 10 grams. I'm not sure. They're not marked or anything. They look like 10 grams or less to me. Maybe 12 grams? I don't know. So I will put these in my blanket, my Cozy Memories blanket. And then the rest I will maybe use for scrappy socks. Yay! So that is that. Next week, I should not have any stash. You know, I was trying to be, I'm trying to be so good. And it seems like every week I have yarn to show you guys. <laughs> So that is all the yarn stash. Uh, life stuff real fast. I really don't have anything. Um, Wednesday, I guess all my life stuff is weather related. Um, Wednesday, we got some snow. I want to say like maybe four or five inches. So the school, uh, kids did not have school that day. Uh, so that was Wednesday. Yep. 
and then they had school yesterday and today so it was just a one dayer <laughs> which i was glad for because thursday was the day that my husband uh, had to go into the office so i'm like please let there be school because <laughs> i had a feeling i'm like yep my husband's gonna go to work my kids are gonna be home so there goes my quiet time but they had school so i was happy about that And that's really it. It's been pretty boring. I like boring. It's okay. Um, goals for this week. Seven squares in my blanket. I'm going to try to do three today, four on Sunday, and I'll be done. Um, I'd like to finish a, that BB-8 mini in my Star Wars cowl. And those socks. I'm not going to put any goals on that shawl because... I don't know if I'm going to want to work on it. I'll work on it, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to put any goals on myself on that. I guess I would like to finish section six by next podcast. <laughs> so that's only four rows. I could do it. Yeah, after sex, section six, it goes from 527 stitches to six... 60 like in one row <laughs> so send me all of the uh, motivation you can do it vibes because yeah we'll see if i can get to those four rows done today i don't know probably not i have laundry to fold here after i'm wrapping this up and i gotta put all my stuff away so, I don't know. We will see. Excuse me. How much I can get done. I would really love to finish those socks. Before February 1st. That's, that's another goal. So, we will see. Alright, I'm going to end this here. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Ugh. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them right down there. I do love reading them. And hopefully, I will see you next week. Bye.